Hello children! Magandang araw! So ngayon ay tungkol naman sa arts ang pag-uusapan natin. Mayroon akong ipapakita sa inyong larawan. Ano ang masasabi niyo sa larawan? Tama! Mapapansin niyo na mas polido at malinaw at maganda ang kulay ng nasa kaliwa kaysa sa nasa kanan. Pero pareho silang maganda. Alam niyo ba na ang isa sa mga larawan ay ginawa digital at ang isa ay tradisyonal? Kaya niyo kayong hulaan kung alin ang digital at tradisyonal sa mga ito? Tama! Ang digital ay yung nasa kaliwa at ang tradisyonal ang nasa kanan. Pag sinabi natin tradisyonal, ito yung pagguhit sa pamamagitan ng mga poster colors, Crayons, watercolors, at iba pang mga pangkulay. Samantalang ang digital naman ay naiguguhit sa tulong ng technology. Maaaring ito ay computer, cellphone, or tablet, o iba pang mga um, gamit ang teknolohiya. Painting has changed in the last few decades through the power of creative ability of computers. Computers can make you a better artist. They can do, they can and do improve your skills as an artist. Computers do not paint for you more than a brush paints for you. But computers provide you with digital technologies that have become important in this competitive era. Narito yung mga advantages of using computers in painting. Number one, errors can easily be corrected. Siyempre, isang pindot mo lang, makukorek mo na yung mga mali mo o yung mga hindi mo gustong ilagay sa painting mo. Number two, work is done in an organized, no-mess environment. Dahil computer lang yung gamit mo, Wala nang ibang kalat, hindi ka magkakalat ng mga kulay o kaya ay mga papel. Colors do not fade and brushes are never worn out. Siyempre, pag sa traditional, kailangan mong bumili ng mga bagong brushes kapag worn out na ito o gamit na gamit na. At hindi din um, nagfe-fade yung colors kapag Digital ang gamit mo. Stages and versions of the artwork can be saved, filed, and easily be retrieved. Work can be transferred or printed on almost any media. And work can be formatted and easily emailed to interested parties. So lahat yan magagawa mo kapag digital. Yan yung mga advantages of using computers in painting. Most, if not all, of today's successful digital painters started as beginners. They gained their understanding of digital painting step by step. Like them, you can gradually edge your way towards getting your own unique style before becoming a master of craft. Digital painting is a fun hobby, one that you will enjoy for years You can even make a living with digital painting. Now let us talk about elements of art. Number one, line is a mark with greater length and width. Lines can be horizontal, vertical, or diagonal, straight or curved, thick or thin. So ito yung pinakaunang element ng arts. Sa pamamagitan nito, makakapag-drawing ka ng iba't ibang mga artworks. So dito, nakikita ninyo, gamit lamang ang mga linya, iba't ibang uri ng linya, ay nakakreate ng isang magandang drawing ang artist. Shape is a closed line. Shapes can be geometric, like squares and circles, or organic, like free form or natural 
natural shapes. Shapes are flat and can express length and width. Forms are three-dimensional shapes expressing length, width, and depth. Balls, cylinders, boxes, and pyramids are forms. Space is the area between and around objects. The space around objects is often called negative space. Negative space has shape. Space can also refer to the feeling of depth. Real space is three-dimensional. In visual art, when we create the feeling or illusion of depth, we call it space. Color is light reflected off objects. Colors has three main characteristics. Hue, the name of the color such as red, green, blue, etc. Value, it is how light or dark. And intensity, how bright or dull it is. Texture is the surface quality that can be seen and felt. Textures can be rough or smooth, soft or hard. Textures do not always feel the way they look. For example, a drawing of a porcupine may look prickly, but if you touch the drawing, the paper is still smooth. Principles of Art Balance Balance is the distribution of the visual weight of objects, colors, texture, and space. If the design was a scale, these elements should be balanced to make a design feel stable. Emphasis is the part of the design that catches the viewer's attention. Usually, the artist will make one area stand out by contrasting it with other areas. The area could be different in size, color, texture, shape, etc. Movement is the path the viewer's eye takes through the work of art, often to focal areas. Such movement can be directed along lines, edges, shape, and color within the work of art. Pattern Pattern and repetition is the repeating of an object or symbol all over the work of art. Proportion is the feeling of unity created when all parts, sizes, amounts, or number relate well with each other. When drawing the human figure, Proportion can refer to the size of the head compared to the rest of the body. Rhythm is created when one or more elements of design are used repeatedly to create a feeling of organized movement. Rhythm creates a mood like music or dancing. To keep rhythm exciting and active, variety is essential. Variety is the use of several elements of design to hold the viewer's attention 
and to guide the viewer's eye through and around the work of art. Unity is the feeling of harmony between all parts of the work of art, which creates a sense of completeness. Magaling mga bata! Maraming salamat sa inyo. Hanggang sa susunod nating mga aralin. Ito ang inyong mam Ice. Have a nice day! Bye!